Hello friends, this is Dr. Dog coming back at you with a little more statistics. In module one, we met the terms and definitions if, that you require if you're going to live in the land of nerd. In module two, we're going to develop the normal distribution curve. That sounds uh, somewhat simplistic, but my friends, uh, you're going to be able to use that curve forwards, backwards, upside down in Greek, Hebrew, and Latin before we get through. So, you know, we're going to be on a very interesting journey. I don't want you to despair because the journey just straightforward, show you what you need to know. We'll try to take it one step at a time. I love this quote below here that says that 98% of all statistics are made up. I wonder who made that up. Now, in the first module, you learned the terms and the concepts, and you were right down here in terms and concepts. Now you're about to climb another rung. You are here at the normal distribution curve as we climb Dog's Ladder. Now, the topics that we're going to examine in this module will start with probability, percent, and decimals. Now, there's a lot of you out there I know that already have that mastery under your belt. That's good. But not only do we need to look at probability percent and decimals, we need to understand them in light of the, met of the method in which we will use them in the field of statistics. We will also move on to examine the normal distribution curve. Be very interesting there because the area on under the normal distribution curve is 1. Uh, Half of it lies on each side of the mean. 50% lies on each side of the mean. 0 0.500 lies on each side of the mean. Hope you're getting some idea of where we're headed. So we will look at probability, percent, and decimals. We will examine the normal distribution curve. We will work with z-scores and probability. In the last section, we met the concept of a z-score. A z-score is how many, dis how many standard deviations a data point lies from the mean, well, we will look at what the probability is that uh, certain areas lie between specific z-scores. Uh, we will learn to read z-score tables. This, my friends, is a lost and dying art. Uh, I don't want you to panic over this because calculators and computers can do the same thing, but we're going to examine the methodologies for reading the table. We're going to find areas using z-score boundaries. We're going to find areas for raw score boundaries. We're going to find z-scores for specified areas. And then we're going to review some sample problems. And these skills will shortly be yours. Uh, eight steps that you're going to need to take in order to master module two. Just take it one step at a time. When you get a step, you make certain you have it down very solidly. Cling to it, use it, and then go to the next step. All right, we're about to get to work. Again, I want to thank you very much for your support. May the odds be ever in your favor, unless you and I are in the same competition. Then it's every man for himself. You have a great day.